All right. Hi, everybody. Sit down with your mom and watch my show. To all my viewers, wish your mother a happy Mother's Day. Give her a hug and watch the world according to Bob. Okay. And with that, we're going to start the show. Riverdale. With Riverdale. An old version of Archie. Archie being that comic your mom probably did read. But this ain't your mama's... This ain't your mama's Archie. No, sir. We got the... We find out the diner, the guy who runs the diner, sold his soul or, or something. It was free comic book day. So I have a lot in the pile, but to read, but I barely made a dent in, in the pile this week. Yeah. Anyway, the guy I sold this, made the devil a burger and he keeps his place open. It's real. It ended really creepy. Yeah. Um. Good book. Still not gonna watch a show, but good book. Yeah. Again, because it's not Archie. Um. Okay, now to something. She's probably a little less familiar with. The Terrifics. It's only on its third issue. It's the book about Mr. Terrific, Plastic Man, Phantom Girl, Metamorpho and the Element Man. You know, the book that connected Dark Knight's Metal and what goes on in, in Doomsday Clock and all that. A big, big event book. They still didn't explain the, in fact, they, they even pointed out they needed to explain that because he, Mr. Terrific ended with trying to find Tom Strong. And, and the question being, who is Tom Strong? Yeah, I still don't know. I mean, Aaron, the guy at the comic book store, says that he was like an old Alan Moore hero. He was like, yeah. Anyway, I, I still hadn't heard of him, and I have a decent-sized comic book collection, so don't feel bad. Okay. Meanwhile, at the other end of the DC Universe, Okay, we got DC Nation Zero, also from Free Comic Book Day. It doesn't say free, but it was. Um, I really liked this book. It had four or three or four stories, maybe five. It had a lot of stories in it. One with the Joker, one with the Justice League. One with just Batman. Yeah. Or, sorry, one with just Superman. Um, there's no guarantee you'll understand it. If, if you're not a big comic book reader, though. Because there's references to the source wall. I mean, you nerds will love it, but I can't guarantee that the average pick the average person picking up the book will. Um, it was it was very low on ads, which I love because no ads makes for a better book. Um, this is the kind of book that they probably hide a a um a 
a a glib, glimpse of the Marvel Universe in it. I, I don't know. Though if they did, probably this is the kind of book you'd look for it in. It was really cool. Um, yeah. So, again, really enjoyable. Good job, guys. <sighs> Alright. On to Marvel with regular Spider-Man. Also from Free Comic Book Day. That's like my third Free Comic Book Day one. Yeah. Free Comic Book Day was this week. And guess who went? Me. Yeah. There was no reference to Spider-Man, no reference to Mary Jane. If you're just reading this to find anime, yeah, you're going to be thoroughly disappointed, Buckaroo. But you will find that Peter's moved into his own place. they finally given up that brand new day shtick. I mean, I haven't... I haven't read a, um, Spider-Man since Spider-Man 700. That's a long time ago. Spider-Man 700 was, um, they're going, next issue is going to be 800, so I haven't read it, and you figure it out. But, yeah, I want to know if this affects my... If this affects my Renew Your Vows, my weekly Renew Your Vows story that um, I pick up, it would be cool if it did. You know, like, hey, the future's changing, sort of thing. I mean, I know they're doing a thing with Norman Osborn, Whittle Normie. Being like a baby carnage. I found that out from another reviewer here on YouTube. But that didn't seem to affect this story. So. But again, I, I don't know if it's going to affect the Renew Your Vow story either. I hope it does. Keep up the good work, guys. That's all, all I gotta say. Okay. Somewhere in the time stream in Marvel, there are exiles. Exiles. I thoroughly enjoy... I thoroughly enjoyed Wolvie in this. I enjoyed... Little Marvel. I mean, the book. And I enjoyed Little Marvel the world, too. I enjoyed that they're, um, they gave it like a giant space worm type deal. Yeah. He's eating everything. Again. They need to cross over with some kind of Spider-Man. Next issue is Captain America, which is very promising because they're already adding new members. But, who knows. They might kill her off. I don't know. Again, enjoyed Wolvie. Didn't like that they made Val Valkyrie dumb. I mean, Valkyrie wasn't that dumb in the movie. <laughs> yeah. Um... I don't know that much about her because she's a new Marvel character, but she wasn't that dumb in the movie. Come on, guys. Get with it. Again, otherwise than that, good job. Okay, moving on. I got a big... Read that. Read that. Um, oh, 
Okay, I, I, I don't see it out here, but let's talk about Batman with Booster Gold in it this week. I liked it, but I can see how some people won't like it. And it I liked Booster, but that's only because I like Starman. Mom said it made made him sound like Starman. Well, and you got to take that into consideration, DC. I mean, unless you're going to shove him to the end of time and say... You're going to have to make him better at some point. So. Yeah. I, en I enjoyed that book. But. Still. I hope it's not permanent. Um. Other otherwise than that it appears I'm done. So. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, oh, where's the mouse? Where's the mouse?